I'm Jeff, and I want to quickly show you how you can start posting videos to YouTube. So first, we're going to link your YouTube account with Airshare, and then we'll go into the API and show you how easy it is to post. So first, head over to app.airshare.com. You can then log in with an email, Gmail, or GitHub. We'll just do Gmail. And you're logged in. So let's first actually set up a social account. So choose YouTube, click the YouTube icon, and then you'll have to choose an account. Next, you'll choose a, a brand or an account. And finally, you'll have to just give authorization to AirShare to post on your behalf. So click Allow. And your YouTube account has been linked. And you can also verify it by seeing your brand's icon where the YouTube logo was previously. Now, you can go over to posts and actually do manual posts. Enter a title, text, select do you want it private, unlisted, or public. Click add a video or just drag and drop the video over. And then you can click post now and you can manually do it. But let's go into how you can post via AirShare's API. So let's head over to the docs, docs.airshare.com, the endpoint posts. Let's scroll down to an example. So we have different code examples, bash, node, Python, PHP, Go, C Sharp. So let's look at the node example. Let's copy this code, head over to our IDE, paste that. And the next thing we'll need to do is grab the actual YouTube body which is a little bit different. So let's copy that just down the page of the YouTube section, head back over to IDE, let's replace the body. And now you can see there's a title we're posting, the post by, which is a description, the platform, which is YouTube, the media URL, which is a link to the actual video. So this you can either upload this to AirShare using the upload media endpoint, and we'll give you a URL, or you can actually just use your own if it's externally hosted. And finally, select the visibility. You can do public, unless or private. Let's change this to private. And one other thing before, actually two other things before we do this, we need to get our API key. So let's head back over to the dashboard, go to API key. Let's copy this. And we'll paste this right here. There's the API key. Now, just one other thing before we run this, we do have to put this within a function. So we'll call it run, run YouTube. Put in the body. I'll run YouTube and right here. So what we're doing before we go in, we're actually going to have a node, have a node fetch. This mechanism is using, use your own choice, how to make calls, API key. We're going to then have the function that's going to fetch to the post endpoint. We're going to send our API key and we're going to pass in a couple body parameters, title, post platforms, media URLs, and the visibility. Let's save this and head over to a terminal and let's run it. Okay, so you have the result back, success. Here's the actual ID of the YouTube video. And here is the overall ID reference for AirShare. So you can use this ID later if you want to delete or get stats on the video. But let's actually copy the YouTube video itself, the URL. Head back over to Chrome. Let's paste it. And here's the video we uploaded. And that's how you link and post to YouTube from Airshare.